Okay. Here we are. Here we are? Yes. It's us. We're here. Um, are, we, are we live? Are we active? We're live. We're active. We're... Oh, baby. We're showing uh, our beautiful faces um, and this beautiful uh, image I've uh, written words all over. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's. Yeah, uh, who even is that back there? Oh, that's Cal Calvary X, uh, the, the one of that new legendaries from the DLC. So wait, there's I'm I have no means of seeing any of the things that you're talking about. You will. Um, oh, okay. Uh, I've got that all s s squared away. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's just uh, do what we what we do, I guess. He Hello there, welcome to the world of Pokemon. Uh, mm. My name is Brayden. My name is Will. And this is uh, Brayden's top twenty-five budget picks for Chilling Rain, presented by Beyond the Ball. Uh, now, when you say your top twenty-five budget picks, are you talking about like buying specific? We're talking about cards now. Correct? Yes, yes, Pokemon trading card game. Uh, we actually talked about i mentioned it briefly on our on the last episode we we did um but chilling rain is a new the newest card, trading card game set that came out for pokemon recently um i was not able to get any sealed uh products for it such as booster packs and the like uh which i might get uh be able to at some point later on but they're they're kind of hard to get right now so uh instead i just uh, started looking through all the cards and and buying them all individually <laughs> That I, ah. I just get the ones I want instead of you know buying packs buy that'll be more expensive from the, anyway. Uh, from the supplier, um, from TCGplayer.com has a lot of great options for buying single cards, um, and uh, all the cards featured in this are usually like uh, under a dollar, so like a lot of them you can get oh, okay. like five ten cents. So you mean it? Budget picks? Yeah, like yeah. It seems so, like. Well, I guess it depends. I was going to say this seems like a better deal than booster packs. <laughs> How much do booster packs cost? Yeah, yeah. Like if if you're if you're trying to collect an entire set, like booster packs is probably more cost effective. But if you just want a handful of the cards that you like, this is this is the way to go. Um, and so yeah, I'm I'm just getting the the cards I want. And so yeah, wh while I was doing that, doing shopping, I, I I was looking through all the cards in the set, and um, so I decided to to set aside some of my what I've deemed the top 25, I think the best, best looking cards, um, among the, the normal Pokemon cards. So none of, none of like the ultra rare, like full art stuff or, or, or V max, any of that. These are just, just the regular old cards, which are, which are fun. Baseline stuff. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I guess, uh, let's jump right into it. I've, I've started off with, I'm going to, they're not organized in any particular way, but I started off with the three starter Pokemon. Um, and then we'll kind of uh, bounce around between types and stuff. But yeah, so our first one is Grookey. Grookey! Look at him. Uh, He's got rapid strike. What yeah, does that mean? I don't know. Um, is that like, was that like Rush or something? It is He's rapid, got like charge. Rapid strike and single strike. Um, I think are maybe maybe introduced. They were like mechanics introduced in the battle styles set, which are like based on the the cub food that legendary fighting type you get with the mm, DLC. Yeah, that yeah had with the, the stances and stuff. Yeah, so they've got rapid strike style Pokemon and single strike. So, as someone who has not played the Pokemon trading card game mm -hmm. since like gosh. launch. <laughs> Like, yeah, elementary school. Um, I specifically remember playing it out in the portables in the like YMCA after school because yeah. I had to wait for my parents to come pick me up. Actually, um, but there has been some power creep. I oh would yeah, say. yeah. There's uh, 60 HP and the potential to do 60 damage on your uh, first your basic Pokemon. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty rad. Pretty pretty like all all the numbers have gone up just a little bit since. Um, early yeah. Pokemon, so buckle, buckle those, up for that. All those old Pokemon cards you have, those are just, they're trash now. Yeah. Except not, actually. They're probably worth a lot of money. Yeah, no, throw them away. <laughs> <laughs> Give them to me. Yeah. But, uh, Grookey, I just, I, I freaking love this little guy, um, and he's just banging away on this stump. Yeah, it's, I it's, mean, that is his, 
his favorite thing to do. It's fantastic. It's it matches the move he's he has, which is hit twice, and it matches. Right, the, he's clearly about to hit it again. <laughs> it matches the the uh, the poker deck entry at the bottom, um, which you know attacks with rapid beats of its sticks as as it strikes with amazing speed. It gets more and more pumped, and you can you can definitely tell this Grookey is just getting pumped. It almost seems like it's uh, causing plant life to grow, um, which uh, I don't think that's something that I know Grookey to do. But it's a it's yeah, a grass that, type, I mean, he, so maybe yeah, it is a grass type. But yeah, that's that's pretty wild. That, yeah. Those those plants are definitely glowing, mm-hmm. <laughs> benefiting from his little drum show. Yeah, maybe they're just kind of his, his, uh, its captive audience as they're as they're watching the sh- watching the show, but. Like ever since I first saw Grookey in like the Sword and Shield reveal trailer, um, I was just and it was just like banging on a rock or some shit. Mm-hmm. It's just like, that was when you fell in love. Yeah, and I think I think this 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 card uh, art by by Kodama just really captures that that feeling for me. Um, but yeah, let's see. Our next one is Raboot, though. Which... Mm, wait, no, this is not uh, okay. These are still we're still in your uh, mm-hmm, my picks, and I started with your picks. Um, there's there's a there's so a Grookey, just, just a score bunny, and of a, each of the, the sobble. Yeah, of the, I gotcha. Yeah, yeah, um, Raboot's great. <sighs> love love Raboot. Just I like this chain. Kicking a snowball like at 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 sunrise or sunset. I can't tell exactly, mm-hmm. but oh my gosh, like the breath coming out of it. It's just. Gorgeous mm. art by uh, Suichiro Gunjima. I I love it. Like Rab- Reboot's my my dream. Like you know, middle stage adolescent angsty teen yep. Pokemon. And I it's think... even got like an angsty teen like big turtleneck sweater thing. Mm-hmm. You know, can't see its smile. You know, it's got... all it does is practice its soccer moves because that's all it cares about. Mm-hmm. Got one hand in the pouch. Got that cute little bunny tail still though just yeah it's fantastic there's a most of these a lot of these cards i think will take place in kind of snowy environments because it's it's chilling rain and it's uh takes place on the crown tundra uh predominantly so there's a lot of those like like all like the galarian legendaries and stuff but but yeah raboot um I, i i freaking freaking love this this little angsty teen and i would be just just uh, overjoyed if it kicked a snowball at me <laughs> <laughs> it um, can attack during its next turn though which is kind of a bummer yeah so it's it's actually kind of similar to uh to grookey here it's they, they can both right. they can both do maybe well they can both do 60 damage um sometimes which right, but there is a price to be paid. Yeah, although Raboot's, I guess, is is a second is a stage one with with more HP, so probably right. better. Um, okay, that's that's Rebu. and I did I did one one stage of each for each of the starters, um, which means Inteleon is my next pick uh, by NC Empire. Ooh, it's I like those moves. It's like I like. It looks cooler than regular Inteleon. <laughs> right? It's like running up like a, a, a tidal wave or something. Yeah, and it's I think it's shooting running around me. the curve of a wave while yeah. it blasts you. And just like all, all with that look on its face, I'm just like, ugh, mm-hmm. you, you got me. <laughs> like, yeah, you got, you, you out-intellected me, Inteleon. That, that quick the shooting. The sad boy has evolved into a sad intellectual. Uh, the secret agent Pokemon. <laughs> In fact, sure. It's got that quick shooting, which is seems like a pretty good ability. Just do two, two damage, twenty damage to whoever, whenever you Once want. During your turn, you may put two damage counters on one of your opponents. Oh, you can just do that. Yeah. Okay. Um, also, waterfall. Wow, that's really good. Waterfall seems good. Just two, two and colorless energy. Yeah, I was gonna say you don't need uh, don't need any water energy. That seems pretty wild i like it i like it also it's nictitating membranes let it pick out foes weak points so that it can precisely blast them with water that it shoots from its fingertips at mach three. Oh wow so i'm actually dead you have killed me until <laughs> yes yeah no it it got you <laughs> yeah it like, really did it was just water but oop, there i go mm-hmm. shot through the heart i um, like quick shooting that's neat yeah 
it's that's intelligent. Yeah, intelligence I think is a is a is a hard is a tricky one to capture. Uh, really looking uh, as cool as it does here. So yeah, this is well done. Yeah. NT Empire, my my appreciation to yeah. you. Which I, I was not familiar with, but apparently it's like a a, a group of artists or a little collective. Um, mm. But yeah, NC Empire. There's there's a few NC Empires in this list, so we'll see more of them. Um, okay, so next up, what do we got? Secret agent Pokemon, <laughs> whatever. Crybaby. Yeah. Ah, oh, Flaffy. Love Flaffy. Marie and Flaffy. Flaffy by by Sweet, who is also definitely one of my favorite artists. Um, always always happy to see see their art. Um, it's interesting that um. A lot of the artist names are just like one word or their their online name or something, you know. Like, yeah, it's it's interesting the 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 bullpen of, of artists they have for the the card mm, game. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Flaffy's just wonderful. Oh, like definitely one of our I think shared faves. Just this whole evolution chain. Yeah, um, we did this one, right? Yeah, we did do this one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because, yeah, that sounds actually like one of the entries down at the bottom there. Yeah, storing up the uh, electricity, just playing the leaves, having a, a great time. It's, it's just gorgeous. It's got Electro Ball, which I'm sure there's an Electro Ball on its tail. I guess that's mm. something. Um, also, I don't know if you... This is a design, uh, a card design thing they've done with the... Uh, the sword and shield sets most recently you can see this kind of uh silver near the hp mm-hmm. so there's one bar of silver because it's a stage one but if you go back to intellion it's got two bars of silver oh, there. That's and then the basics have, so have the one have, or nothing have, there yeah. yeah none that's neat yeah i liked it i thought that was a cool little design uh change they made um but yeah flaffy i don't know there's like I don't. I don't know how you can look at this uh, this picture and not not experience some level of joy. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's just clearly so content and happy. Yeah, it's just you living can. See, it's like rubbing its life. its mane, just living that sheep life. Yeah, it's good. Um, all right, next up, Gengar. Oh, by oh, 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 that's fantastic. Like I love a big tongue picture of Gengar. It's Gengar being extra vile because it's yeah. licking stairs which are why why is it doing just that just getting that that shoe grime off i don't know yeah. like or just getting the stairs all gooey so that people will slip and fall oh maybe that's it yeah i love the shading on the tongue mhm this is this is something else i'm all about this one yeah or maybe it just ate someone who was coming down the stairs <laughs> yeah maybe <laughs> and is it's just gloating joyously sending them to hell <laughs> i mean that's the kind of ghost that Gengar is. It truly is. Um, God, yeah. Said to emerge from the darkness to steal the lives of those who become lost in mountains. Maybe the stairway is in the mountains. Um, we know that's a dangerous place. <laughs> um, yeah, look at the detail. The little vines on the brickwork behind and yeah. like... Cracks in the that? stairs and like stuff. Like Stuff carved up above its eyes there. Like some sort of decorative stonework. Yeah, it's like... Maybe some kind of mountain shrine or something with the overgrowth. But yeah, no, uh, Ayakusabe, like really, really, really great art. I love, yeah, like you said, the shading is just, works really well with a, with a Pokemon like this. Um, yeah. Also, last gift, its ability, seems, yeah, seems quite good. Wild. Death Rattle, tutor two cards from your deck. Yeah, like that's... Sorry, pardon my... <laughs> <laughs> you're you're mixing a lot of card games here. <laughs> yeah, I just mixed like three different card games in in one sentence. Um, <laughs> but but yeah. you know what I mean. That's powerful. That's a powerful effect. Yeah, the the mechanic to search your card for a sing or search your deck for a single card and take it is is always good. But getting to do it twice uh, when this yeah. Pokemon dies, that's yeah. Although, in fairness, you have to invest quite a lot of resources to get all the way up to a Gengar, so by that point, you're probably pretty far into the game. Yeah, that, that and you might have to rely on your opponent to knock it out, and they might uh, be avoiding that if they can. Um, yeah. But, yeah, uh, Gengar, it's just like a classic monster stare licker. Just don't. <laughs> it's great. Great art. Um, burst. It's actually 40 more damage for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. So it goes 10, 50, that's, yeah, 90. That's or no, pretty, it's no, even more than that. It's, it's exponential. 10, 50, and then 
their dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think like two or three, like three hits maybe. Yeah, will three guarantee hits is gonna just kill about anything. Basically anything in this card game. Yeah, and it's all uh, colorless energy too, so that's that's good. Yeah, uh, I've seen a lot of that. Yeah. It's weird. I mean, it's it's already weird that Gengar is a psychic type, but we can let that fly. <laughs> But I do like, yeah, the the flavor of that move too. Pain burst, like it puts a little pain and then it bursts it kind of uh, mm, more and yeah. more, which is, yeah. which is interesting. Um, but okay, what what's next here? We've got Diglett by uh, Soshiro Kojima again. Sorry, I interrupted you. Oh, you're good. Um, Diglett, look at it go. A, yeah, they're they're hauling. They're rapid striking through the through leaving the earth. Little, yeah, leaving a little like divot behind it this is i love cards like this do like where it's a pokemon doing something that i normally wouldn't see it do like you like i never really think about how just like diglett's like moving i guess and yeah not only strange about this is like uh, it's got its head out of the earth yeah so it must be digging just below the level of the earth there right Mm -hmm. you know so it's like it's body is if we could get behind it we might be able to see its little <laughs> pod you know what i mean well you like, can still right see on the surface it's still got it's like little rock it's gray rock collar kind of around it oh interesting so it's like already burrowed up and now it's kind of burrowing forward with those You're rocks still imagine attached it, like in order for it to be digging horizontally through the soil like that i would think that its body would be stretched out behind it but maybe its right. body is just straight down into the earth and it's yeah just, but also, like, forward. the path behind it doesn't go, like, deeper than it right. is at right now. So, yeah. yeah. It's a great card because it's it's a cool action, active pose, and it's, yeah. you know, it's... deepens the mystery of, of the oh. of Diglett, <laughs> which is... It's very, I, would, I will say it's very impressive to make a dynamic illustration of Diglett, you mm-hmm. know, where it looks like it's moving like that. Yeah. Because Diglett doesn't seem like it should be moving <laughs> really no. ever. <laughs> Probably not. Just based on our conversation we just had alone, like, uh, <laughs> right, who yeah. even knows what's going on? There's too many mysteries. Um, but not only do do they show that in in the main, like, you see these little diglets in the background. Like, there's a couple uh, spreading rumors. There's one that's just uh, surprised <laughs> by something, and one's just, like, asleep oh, back yeah. there. He's got, like, a bump on his head, it looks like. Oh, yeah, maybe he got knocked out or something. By that one that looks all guilty. Yeah. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. But um, yeah, it's of course it's it's got its signature move, dig. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Oh, and it's it's actually really flavorful, like with the actual game too. Like, right. Flip a coin if heads like your opponents during your opponent's next turn prevent all damage from and effects of attacks done to this Pokemon. So it's like, yeah. If you wanted to really completely duplicate the effects of dig into mm-hmm. the card game, it would be a pretty wordy uh, paragraph. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But this this matches gets gets as close as you can, I, I imagine. But yeah, it's pretty good. Diglett, the mole Pokemon. I love the little like you can see like the bottom of its body is kind of dirty too. Like it's mm, it's yeah. it's naturally brown, but it's also got this kind of like dirt stains on it too. Which is, yeah, this is great. Battle damaged. But yeah, Diglett, classic, original, the mole Pokemon. It burrows through the ground at a shallow depth and leaves raised earth in its wake making it easier to spot except the earth does not look raised in that image i will say yeah it it's uh, concave but whatever it doesn't matter yeah it's pokemon you know it's all, it's it's all po- whatever um all right uh uh coughing by uh aya kasobe again i was gonna say i recognize this this illustration style this was uh, see the shading this was gengar right yeah yep um love it i just always love to see my happy son happy coffee just living his best life in the garbage dump just oh they've made him a dark type now huh poison poison types are dark now they used um, to be psychic and sometimes i think they were originally grass or grass and yeah. then they were psychics and now they're darks so psychic just because they were like i don't know purple yeah <laughs> it's yeah, that's I love. Yeah, the Pokemon trading card game did did not want to make that many different types of energy cards, <laughs> which is like, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah. As you can see here, it it adores polluted air. Um, <laughs> so and it, you can just see it, you know, 
clearly uh, wallowing in its admiration for, for the pollution. Here's an interesting, this is a, a diversion, but just mm-hmm. real quick. If I recall correctly, the Galarian version of wheezing with the smokestacks yes. is actually actively cleaning pollution out of the air. It is, yes. Which would mean that it's sort of ruining coughing's whole scene yeah in so doing yeah i don't know that's that's interesting because maybe it's maybe it's that's why it looks so like bougie and and sophisticated because it's it's left its childish ways behind (laughs) well in this case it's probably good it's for the best probably not a good thing but i don't know looking at this picture i'm not so sure maybe pollutions i don't know maybe we if coughing i mean coughing is important yeah, let's let's lean into it. Let's let's make a dump. But yeah, I just adores there. Some claim that coughing used to be more plentiful in the Galar region than they are now. That's what made me think of it. Was Probably because like, of the oh, wheezings. It's cleaner now because of yeah. the wheezings. They've all evolved. Hmm, interesting. But yeah, I, I love the again the the shading and the the kind of sketchy yeah. background of all this garbage and stuff. But it's very evocative. Like it it communicates really well. It's, yeah. Excellent work. Mm. And those, those sharp little fangs, just, yeah, you can never go wrong with coughing. Coughing's one of my all time faves. Um, so, of course, it's going to be on here. Um, all right, next up here is Agron by Teasera. Ooh. As a. Agron. Doing what Agron. I like to call uh, a big steppy. <laughs> <laughs> also, steel type is a thing now. Yeah, steel type's. So that's been a thing for for a long time. Um, I just haven't I haven't paid much attention to Pokemon cards in quite some time. Yeah, yeah. Um, but just you know, look at it go! It's just stomping around. It's huge. It's what's almost seven feet tall, eight hundred pounds. Just yeah. the Maybe. iron iron armor Pokemon, and this like. I feel like a lot of artists would try to make like a more dynamic, like intimidating or like action pose Agron, but I really appreciate just this kind of almost like kaiju, like Godzilla angle of just yeah. like, just walking. Emphasizing how big it is and just kind of like stomping around. Yeah. Yeah. Also, Seismic Rift does 240 damage. Yeah, that is wild. But you also do 30 damage to your entire bench. So. Yeah. I mean, with a with a with a name like Seismic Rift, I guess you can't uh, couldn't expect too much better. <laughs> but and also, yeah, two hundred and forty damage is the most damage I've ever seen on a Pokemon card. I think. Yeah, I think it's Hard Press is also extremely good. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, during your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes thirty less. Oh, 30 less damage. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. Not, not so bad. Not that's so bad. Pretty good. I mean, we're 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 all talking about how good or bad certain cards are, but I I do want to clarify we have not. Play that's true yeah the card game <laughs> i have no idea what the state of the meta is and like we said there's been a fair amount of uh power creep i'm, I'm doing it again i didn't realize how many like trading card game specific terms i had just <laughs> rattling around in my brain yeah it turns out you've played a lot of card games in your life yeah i guess so <laughs> um okay so that that's agron um like not one of not one I have a ton of nostalgia for because it's Gen three, which I I kind of I kind of missed out on. But yeah. um, I always appreciate when there's cool card art that that grabs my attention. Anyway, um, yeah, Agron, big, big, big friend. Um, all right, steel friend. Ooh, now, oh, Por- oh, I like this. Porygon Z by Tomokazu Komiya, who is a an artist you probably recognize. They do. They're well known for this. Their style um, of kind of uh, warped and like kind of distorted shapes and lots There's of. There's a little person's face colors. in the background there. Yeah, it's uh, a person who maybe is realizing the the nature of the faulty update they added to Porygon's right, programming. Terrible mistake that they've made. Yeah, I just this artist <laughs> usually does like a lot of weird angular kind of. Pokemon, like they all kind of had like odd bodies, but I appreciate that like Porygon looks pretty normally proportioned here, and everything mm-hmm. else is is what's kind all of out of whack. I've got all this these... style of illustration is really they're bringing their game to yeah. these Pokemon cards. You know, this looks like a Basquiat or something. You know, this looks like <laughs> modern art. Yeah, no, it's it's, it's great. Yeah, no, Camille has been doing art like since like 
some of the very early sets um and they're okay they're always they're always great um but yeah it's just bug transmission it looks like it's transmitting bugs all over the the place which (laughs) is not great um it's also kind of i like it's whenever you attach an energy card from your hand to this pokemon during your turn you make your opponent's active pokemon confused i like i like that that flavor um also super beam sure yeah (laughs) Uh, why not but yeah no i just poor gunsy is so weird and strange and uh, maybe evil, and, potentially extremely dangerous and frightening. <laughs> yeah, which is, and I, I think this the art here really really captures that well. Um, poor Gonzi. Yeah. that person in the background looks <sighs> appropriately horrified. Yeah, just a great chef's kiss touch to this this yeah. art. I think um, oh, poor Gonzi. don't don't meddle um, with with creating Pokemon. Poor Gonzi mm-hmm. is is a lesson in that um, for sure. Um, What's next? How many? What are we on? We're on ten. We got. We got plenty to go still. All right. Oh, Weedle by Sonosuke Sakuma. Ooh, look at this Weedle is working out. Look at yeah, just doing some pull-ups, getting swole. It's because it's been hanging out with that hair cross down there, mm-hmm. and it wants to be stronger. This can, it knows it can be a strong it's like bug like that. Practically glowing. Yeah, it's maybe getting ready to evolve. I don't know, but um, gosh. yeah, maybe it's about to turn into a Kakuna. Yeah. Oh man, Weedle! Weedle's just great. Weedle's a great little worm that's got little spikes, and like this is a really cool pose that you would never expect to see Weedle in. Really, I feel like right, just working yeah, out, doing one, pull-ups. Arguably, one of the best things about Pokemon cards is uh, the um, the illustrators. You know, they gotta get creative and yeah, come up with cool poses, and they always come up with cool stuff. Yeah, it's yeah. Looking through these, I was it felt like playing pokemon snap except from the professor's point of view where i got to be like oh yeah. yes that's that's You're a unique like, oh, pose yes. like oh Very and it's good. got a pokemon in the background there's too. another pokemon in the background yeah exactly yeah it's a uh, pre- pretty basic in terms of its uh abilities F- 40 hp pierce for 20 which is yeah. not bad by you know original game standards uh, right but this looks like yes this looks like a card from the original set yeah which, Although in the original set, Weedle was probably 30 HP and 10 damage. So, yeah. I remember I remember Rattata for sure was 30 HP, bite for one energy, 20 damage. But yeah. it had no retreat cost, which is which is good. Oh, that's really good. But yeah, no. Uh, Weedle is is as as no, zero zero one out of one ninety eight. The first card in the set. It's <laughs> I think a strong leader. Uh, Getting stronger every day. Absolutely, gotta gotta do those reps, as Weedle says. Mm-hmm. As we all know. <laughs> yeah. All right, and then we've got oh, another but from oh NC Empire is Sneasel. Sneasel's definitely like coughing. One of my all-time fave Pokemon. Just oh man, cutting cutting up some berries for for um, its. It's spouse. Is that what's going? That is what's going on. Yeah, they're 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 cooking. It's doing some some fruit ninja stuff with an Obama snow. Yeah, they're getting ready to share a meal together because they're great. Um, it's just yeah, Sneasels, the sharp claw, but yeah, that 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 pose. The you can see what's going on behind it, like the yeah, the ninja stunts it's been pulling yeah, in the background. It just yeah, I I i i love sneasel and i think this is definitely one of the one of the coolest looks it's had in the cards for for a while but interesting uh, uh ability there as well mm-hmm. yeah cut down just discarding energy, no damage which is an interesting tactic like if, at the start of the game you can maybe just kind of try to stall yeah. your opponent for a bit if if, if you have a uh, I see i don't know if there are these kind of archetypes in mm, yeah the Pokemon game. It's like if if you had like a quote unquote control deck, then this is absolutely a card that you would run, right? Mm-hmm. Like just stall while you draw the cards that you need to yeah. be an unstoppable beast. And it's got seventy HP, which is which is good, so it can probably stall for a good good while too, but yeah, just ooh, fantastic depiction of, of the sharp claw Pokemon just doing a cut, hanging out with friends got that kind of sinister look on its face i love it i love mm-hmm. sneasel always always a fan yeah it looks like it's doing some mischief but the obama snow seems <laughs> delighted <laughs> absolutely i would be too um okay oh and now we have shuppet by Ooh. okachike 
which is just this uh, illustration style again is very interesting. It's just a yeah, so such a very like painterly painterly mm-hmm. medium. It's so forlorn looking and sad and I just like it's oh good. shut up it. Snow is gathering on top of it. Yeah. And then see like I looked at that, it's like, oh it's so sad and, and striking and then I read the you Pokedex read the entry. entry. Yeah. yeah. There's a proverb that says, shun the house where Shuppet gather in the growing dusk. And I just, ugh, after That's I read that, like, I started like to tear up because it's like, oh, man, this poor Shuppet's been shunned. Shun the house where the Shuppets are, yeah. Well, oh. I mean, is there a reason for that thing? Probably. <laughs> like, I, I need to know more. We haven't talked about Shuppet. Yeah. That house is clearly, like, warm and inviting inside, and Snup- Shuppet is out, like... I feel like the illustration is designed to make us feel sad for Shuppet. Maybe we're shunning the house that that does this because they won't let Shuppet in to the nice <laughs> yeah. warm house. Yeah, and that's maybe. why it's so sad. Ugh, Shuppet. I'm just so... should hang out with these people because they don't treat this Shuppet nice. Like, there's not a lot going on with Shuppet design-wise. Like, it's just kind of like a little <laughs> onion blanket with, with a face, but like... <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so I'm, I'm really just impressed by how much it was able to move me emotionally um, mm-hmm. with, with such a simple design. Um, but yeah, Will, Will o' Wisp, 20 damage, 50 HP. So, you know, a little better than Weedle uh, in terms mm-hmm. of, of stats. But, but yeah, Shuppet. Shuppet's a, a great Pokemon. I don't care too much for its evolution, Banette, but I, I do like Shuppet a lot. I don't remember Shuppet's evolution. Yeah, it's got a weird zipper mouth. Um, sure. <laughs> But yeah, what do we have next is Galarian Farfetched by uh, <laughs> It's got just, little dust clouds coming off of it's, him. It's clean. He just sit down. Oh, he's cleaning uh, it. Mm-hmm. I see. Yeah, wipe, wiping the dirt and stuff off his his huge leak, um, like a a war like a you know a a master warrior resting under a tree waiting for his next battle. Just mm-hmm. cleaning his weapon. Uh, that's great. Puncture too. Just uh, you know, a piercing move probably with the, with the leak that doesn't isn't affected by resistance because it's such a powerful tactician and warrior. Uh, it's got the angry eyebrows. Yeah, it's just like I never thought I'd be into Farfetch, but like Galarian Farfetch is uh, such a kind of coolification of the Pokemon. Yeah, I've, I've it's like really they kept on. the they kept it and like they really a lot of the other like forms are like significantly different they look way different but i feel like galarian farfetch they tweaked it just enough to make it different and also real cool yeah. but it's like still almost the same pokemon definitely i like it more than surfetch too which i think it's a little too busy with like the shield and everything yeah but yeah just regular old galarian farfetch i think is 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 more of a sort of barbarian vibe from yeah galarian farfetch. <laughs> or like a yeah samurai or something it's yeah. it's great but yeah um that one's great fighting time what do we have here oh yeah for fru by uh tika ah. matsuna just just an incredible great good dog the poodle pokemon find a friend uh success you've done it <laughs> also yeah we were just talking about how powerful an ability that is Mm-hmm. I guess this one you have to reveal it. I don't know if you had to reveal it for the Gengar one. You have to reveal it, and it has to be a Pokemon. Um, I'm not going to scroll oh, yeah, all the way back true. to Gengar to double check, but we can look Gengar was just a card. Yeah, but yeah, Furfru, like not one I've, I'm typically like a fan of. It's, it doesn't evolve or anything. It's just a dog. It was from X and Y series. They kind of have different appearances you can get with like the haircuts and stuff. Uh, but mm. just I love how how peaceful and and pettable it looks here with like just super relaxed like resting on my, clearly, my cottage like, doorstep yeah living a living a dog's life yeah just all these great flowers different colors around even like the little flowers growing on the step below it just like mm-hmm. fan- very peaceful fantastic dog like i want to i want to pet this dog so bad yeah um but watch out for its fur attack <laughs> 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 What does it? What does it mean? What I don't, could it mean? I don't know what what a but fur attack could it look like, but protects itself during the next round. It must like fluff up its fur or something. Get all get all puffy, defensive. But uh, great dog, ten out of ten. Wood pet, 
Um, next up, we have Lady Ba by Naoyo Kimura, which just look at that little bug. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the face. <laughs> what does it remind me of? It reminds me of, um, oh my gosh, what's his name? That animator, Felix Colgrave, oh. does a couple Ladybug. Uh, there's a, he's got, he's got a, um, an animation that came out not that long ago with some Ladybugs. And I feel like sometimes he does little faces like that. Okay, okay. And big eyes and stuff. Yeah. I'm into this, though. Very cool. The flowers with a little bit of snow. Clearly, it's like early spring yeah and it's flowers like flowers bloomed and then the snow s- came back you can see like the texture of the like the paper or the kind of yeah. canvas it looks like watercolor totally. on it's yeah. just yeah really really pretty nature and flowers and then it's just like this big derpy happy little bucket <laughs> just the center and it just uh i love it lady lady also, Bob, it's just so cute and good another entry that is just outwardly mean toward <laughs> oh, the yeah. subject very cowardly pokemon um, because they gather together and use reflect to protect their nest, like seems pretty logical to me. Like, yeah, it seems pretty. Yeah, you, they've got to defend themselves, and it's just it just wants a hug. Look at that thing. Ugh. Delightful. Little little gloves. Why does it have gloves? I don't <laughs> know. It's so cute. Because it's going to evolve into Lady, Lady Anne. Anne with There's like a fighter. Or, or punching, I guess. But yeah, I guess it does no punch right now. But yeah. Anyway gotta have fists to punch i suppose <laughs> but yeah lady Ba, just perfect beautiful art i love it it's great the expression all of it uh, fantastic yeah the medium all good yeah uh, uh spiel yeah. by kirisaki um with just, an extra goofy look on its face just like i like the going from from lady Ba's kind of smile to to spiel which is just like even, even bigger more. even <laughs> more so excited. so happy to be here just playing around in the tall grass and whatever this kind of structure is behind it. Yeah, this weird construction Stonehenge thing behind it. Yeah. Um, its body is covered in fluffy fur. I'm not sure about that. News to me. <laughs> it doesn't look like it, but but sure. Um, gosh, it just, yeah, it looks like a... You can really see all the way to the back of that thing's throat, huh? <laughs> you can. <laughs> and it's just a sphere so it's like where does that even go like is there more room in there (laughs) like just seeing like what we're seeing now that's like you know one quarter of the entire pokemon's inside like 30 percent of the pokemon (laughs) is right there i can see it (laughs) also i didn't know sveal was the clap pokemon which i guess that's that's a way to you know do seal stuff they clap yeah, they do. They do clap. Although this one it would have to kind of roll backwards to make that work. And I even think. then, it looks like it'd have to stretch those arms quite a bit. To, yeah. To get a clap maybe going. Just, maybe it just slaps in them against its belly or something. Mm, yeah, that that works too. But yeah, no, feels feels great. I love Sveal. It's yeah, just a very cute seal Pokemon. It's even got the same kind of, uh, you know the. We- almost uh, nose mouth like a like actual s-e-e-l seal yeah um we almost did feel for our next episode but we didn't end up doing it right um peek peek behind the curtain yeah recently recently i think we rolled feel yeah but um i'm gonna have to hold off on that for now um I guess I'm giving people extra hints about what the next one's going to be. Now yeah, it's, it's, guess, not spiel. it's not Sveal. <laughs> Good luck. That narrows it down to, what, 800 and yeah. something else. Yeah, um, yeah Sveal. Sveal's great. Love Sveal. Um, next we have Rock Rough by oh, Yu Nishida. Oh, Rock Rough. Just plowing away Rock through the, the snow. That's the other kind of dog. Mm-hmm. Gosh, you, you love a good dog that's just... Ready to, like Furfru is like maybe uh, like Sadie and Rock Ruff is like Gussie to, yeah, to totally. reference your two dogs. I was, I was about to reference the other two dogs that I lived with prior to this. I'm like Rock oh, yeah. Ruff is is bananas, bananas. and Furfru is is Bambi. Right, right. Oh gosh, but Rock Ruff's just a little, just a little friend, just just Ooh. going through that that snow, probably crunching some of it like it's moving yeah. decades. Just eating that stuff. It's the puppy Pokemon. So cute. Just uh, love it. <laughs> Did you read the entry? 
when it rubs the rocks on its neck against you, that's proof of its love for you. However, the rocks are sharp, so the gesture is quite painful. <laughs> that's proof of its love for you, so that's just, you know just suffer you. through it. You're going to have to deal with the, the pain and the tearing of your flesh. Yeah, it's a, it's a tough, uh, tough balance you know, to strike if you want to really know that your Rockruff loves you. <laughs> but, um, gosh, well, yeah, I guess it's maybe similar to like poke or uh, dogs, maybe like biting you. Maybe that's a proof of their love. I think it's yeah, like puppy puppy bites. Yeah, but different for rock rough apparently. Um, also, crunch pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, I was gonna say for a basic stage, you're doing thirty damage and potentially stalling your opponent. That's uh, seems strong. Definitely, definitely better. Yeah. I'm, I think like my main metric for for Pokemon card is like the Pokemon trading card game for Game Boy Color. Like that's the the most I've played. And this right, yeah, this is definitely yeah. definitely pretty good. There's not a lot of cards that let you discard energy in that game. Um, right. But yeah, Rock Rough, classic, great dog, fantastic. Um, great dog. Now we have Bounce Suite by yep. Maho. Um, Just in a glorious. Shining field of wonders. Yeah, I think it could be be debated whether or not Bounce Suite is it belongs on this list, but like I can't help but uh, include any Pokemon that has a rainbow in the background. It's just <laughs> I want to get a, a collection of all all the gay Pokemon with rainbows in the background. I was say it's it's still June, so yeah, Happy Pride Month says Bounce Suite. Happy Bounce Pride Suite. Month says Bounce Suite. <laughs> <laughs> just just a happy little berry. Just. It looks like yeah, it's in a little secluded meadow, surrounded by a forest. The sh- the sun is out and shining. Got that rainbow, it's ready to splash. It's uh, fantastic. Love love bounce sweet. I love yeah the bounce sweet evolution to, into Steeny and to Sarina. I think is is really great. And I've I've gotten familiar with them through uh, the Sun and Moon series of the anime, which are which are quite mm. good. Um, but yeah, bounce sweet. Uh, very good. We got. Uh, like six, six left or so. Next we have uh, Larvesta by Larvesta. Misa Tsutsui, which is very similar kind of setting and 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 pose to to Bounce Suite, but just like man, I just I've never seen a Larvesta look so glamorous, and I love it. I don't, I don't know Larvesta. I don't think. Uh, I don't. That I've ever seen this Pokemon. It's before. a fire Look at bug. All those roses. <laughs> I think it must have been X and Y or, or black and white, but yeah, it's fire fire bug type, the torch Pokemon. It's just just great. Um like I don't gorgeous, gorgeous orange roses that I think really essentially yeah. like not only like Larvesta, but also like the background of the card color for like mm-hmm. fire type. It's just Man, I think I think it's a great way to to make uh, a not traditionally like cute Pokemon just look look great. Um, yeah, just sparkling and surrounded by roses. Yeah, I, I love it. Like, I'm. This, that's all it takes for me to like. Like, I wouldn't have kind of taken a second look at Larvesta like any other day, but now that I've seen this art, like, all right, like I'm I'm ready to You've have Larvesta on my team. Like, let's yeah. let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> I'm on board. Uh, but yeah, just. Woof. Lovely, lovely field of, of flowers for Loresta. That little glint in its eye, too, is sparkling. It's great. Mm-hmm. A little shine. Um, um, flame Charge seems pretty good, too. Just get get some energy built up. Yeah, I mean, as long as you're going to uh, evolve, evolve it. soon. Yeah, it's got 80 HP, so maybe you can get away with that for, for a bit of time. But Yeah. It's probably good to, like, thin out your deck so you're not drawing a bunch of fire energy. Right, right. That's that's a good point. Yeah, Loresta. Love it. Um, next we have Deli Bird by Narumi Sato. Um, <laughs> look at that little little friend just bringing you presents. See, he, he's dropping those presents. Look like <laughs> some of them. Well, yeah, maybe he's got too many. Of, like throwing them to people or something. Could yeah. be that. Too many. Looks like it. Looks like it's pulled some out of the sack, maybe. But I don't know. Deli Bird's great. It's not one I would like ever put on my team just because it's. It's like weirdly specific. It's like we yeah. got. This Pokemon is a caterpillar, and this Pokemon is a clam, and this Pokemon is a penguin slash also it's Santa. <laughs> yeah, it's like, so, what? So why? interesting. I don't, I don't know why, but like I'm, I'm, just, I'm happy it's here, and I'm, I'm happy that it's, it's bringing me presents, and I'm, I'm ready for Christmas. I know it's, I know it's June, but 
Um, I guess we it's... sort of skipped Christmas last year because of the yeah, pandemic. Yeah, a little bit. So, um, maybe, maybe Deli Bird can make it happen for you this time. Just yeah, it's it's clearly happening like on on someone's birthday or Christmas morning because there's like a it's in someone's home with a fire lit and there's everything. There's more presents in the background there. Yeah, it's just like growing up, like my brother and I, like we would take turns being the one to hand out presents on Christmas morning, mm-hmm. and like if you've got a Deli Bird, it's always Deli Bird's turn. Like, right, Deli Bird is your designated Santa's elf. Absolutely, that's what we always called that position. Uh, of okay, course. okay, yeah, it's. Yeah, one of, little helper. one of us got to wear the Santa hat and, and hand out, hand him out. Um, but yeah, icy snow, sure. Package delivery. Put this Pokemon and all attached cards into your deck. If you do, search your deck for a card and put it into your hand and shuffle your deck. So that's another another ability to s- search out cards. Yeah, it's it's interesting. I don't know. I don't know how useful that that might be because you have to invest a Put couple two energy. energy onto it. But you don't I guess lose them. Like, so you play the you play the card. Yeah, right. You're not losing them. It's you just have to throw on one more energy on top of what you were already using for icy snow. And then if Deli Bird's like about to be knocked out, mm. then you just boom package delivery swap right. it up or something right. else. Right. Right. It could be good. Yeah, that's that's a good strat. That's a good strat. Um. All right, next up we have Blitzel by Hyugnase. Hyugnase? <laughs> that, that is a rad illustration. Yeah, like Blitzel's I another another one that I like. I never would have given Blitzel a second thought, but wow. Just... What is going on in the background? What is that red thing? Is I think that it's, a Pokemon? I think it's a tree. Like it's a, a big tree. tree. And then there's another tree that's like dead. Yeah. It's, it's like between mountain. two. I feel like there's... Some message that I, is being communicated that I'm not <laughs> that I'm not picking up on. Maybe it's that the Arctic ice is shrinking. <laughs> yeah, honestly, and now the Blitzels, the horses that used to live on the Arctic ice, they, <laughs> they don't, they can't do any hunting anymore. Is that really where they live? Apparently, maybe in maybe yeah. in the crowd tundra, but or this, or it lives on that Earth in the background, but it's just wandered out yeah. into the sea. It looks very intent, and it looks yeah, like not concerned with with its you know, current location or position. It's just... No, not at all. I, I think it works really well with its move, Thunder Spear as well. Like, I can just imagine it, like, kind of on this isolated uh, platform where it can just snipe Pokemon from afar. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, gosh, Blitzel. What a what a proud, stoic warrior. Just standing like, on the ice. There's a few of these that I'm like, I want these images for, I don't know, for something, a desktop background, or I, I don't yeah. know. There's just... Very striking. Yeah, uh, I, I got all these cards from uh, the, the the site is pkmncards.com. They've got really high res images of all the cards, um, so you know, just crop out whatever you need and make that your. Gonna crop background. out that rapid strike. <laughs> yeah, or just uh, yeah, buy the card. It's like five cents or whatever. And then you've got a little card you can frame or something. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it's Blitzel. It's a it's a rapid strike Pokemon again for some reason. Um, but yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, next we have Hatrim by Miki Kudo. It's just just a little little friend with a little flower. I love the kind of this weird like hexagon flower on the right. All these weird little shapes. And just like this is yeah. See, this is the like they all they get to do whatever kind of like art style mm-hmm. that they want like this is clearly much more interpretive and sort of less realist you yeah know? yeah very it's cool like, yeah i've got hatena and uh hatreen i believe is the final evolution but like i feel like this is a, a middle evolution you probably don't see a whole lot of and i, I appreciate yeah. it getting a, a cool moment to shine here with its little like i, I want to say pigtails but they're so much like bigger fluffier than that um these refer the the entry refers to them as braids braids yes also side note one blow from those braids would knock out a professional boxer so gosh yeah you know either by you know the the weight of the blow or just the cuteness of it um just knocked out oh my heart (laughs) dead you've got me oh (laughs) gosh yeah i love it's just like you can see it's like floating above the ground a little bit using its braids it's got it's got the little flower just yeah, unique art style. I like the the sunbeams coming down on it through, mm-hmm. the, through the trees. Some, some god rays. Very good. Um, Spiral drain, I think, is an unfortunately named uh, attack, but that's okay. 
Seems good though. Yeah, pretty. Yeah, actually, pretty good. Uh, well, I guess it is a stage one, so it takes a little yeah. work, but only one energy, so that's not so bad. Um, all right, I think we're getting close to the end. A couple more. Yes, Galade by NC Empire again, which um, they Ooh. did like uh, uh, that Sneasel they one. They did the Sneasel and they did the Inteleon. A lot of very like action, action dynamic oriented cool yeah, exactly. poses. Like, like this foot is out of frame, like yeah. partially that it's, yeah, because very the, dynamic. The foot is on my neck and this Pokemon is about to decapitate me. <laughs> With its elbow? <laughs> Yes, or it's Dino Blade Elbow. <laughs> <laughs> um, but gosh, yeah, no, it's just a perfect pose in this like forest. It looks like it's maybe cut a path like directly to me as it's about to murder me. Yeah. It's it's. Wait, now hold on. Sharply attuned to others' wishes for help, this Pokemon seeks out those in need and aids them in battle. So hopefully, it's not killing you, unless you were doing something that you shouldn't have been doing. Yeah, maybe I was I was harming a, a Pokemon, or, or team rocketing it to some extent. And, <laughs> team and, rocketing someone, and and now my my fate is sealed. And you know, if this is the last thing I see before I die, that's okay. <laughs> what is um what is that V symbol under Dynablade? Um, Pokemon V are. It's a it's a whole mechanic. That basically okay. has incorporated like Dynamax and Gigantamax Pokemon, but we don't sure. we don't need to get into it here. No, that's fine. This doesn't yeah. need to be a Pokemon card game tutorial. No, um, but yeah, Galay, very very cool. 170 HP, pretty good. It is a stage two, so yeah, that makes sense. A lot of a lot of 60s here. A lot of six six mm-hmm. six we can get into. Mm-hmm. Um, also, uh, a fighting type with a move that takes psychic energy. That's that's always interesting. Oh yeah, like the, like interesting. The mixing and matching. Yeah, it's um, like. Uh, you have to do a multicolor deck to make this work. Yeah, totally. Um, all right, and then our last one, I believe, is no, not our last one, almost last. Quillfish. Oh, look at by that quillfish. Anaski dynamic. Just, I never thought I'd be so impressed with a quillfish. <laughs> like, <laughs> but it's doing some like Dragon Ball Z style. Yeah, no, it's, around it there. It's charging right toward Vegeta's like charging blast. You know, it's <laughs> it's going to be an incredible clash when they when they hit. But <laughs> Look at the intensity in its face. Yeah, it's like KO Ken times four Quillfish ready to. <laughs> it shouldn't it shouldn't have powered up this much. It, its body can't handle it, but it's going to poison jab and bursting needles and hopefully beat Vegeta once and for all. Mm-hmm. It's just Vegeta's gonna take it down, but it's gonna use bursting needles to finish him off. Yeah, six damage counter does a lot of damage. Yeah. Um. Also, not a water type. No. Um. It's like I think I guess yeah, because dark is poison, so it's uh poison because oh, it's right. a water yeah. poison usually. Yeah. I believe. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. But yeah, Quillfish has never never been a Pokemon that I've been like super super interesting um to me because it's just it's a basic <laughs> you've got that that guy in gold and silver who always calls you about the quillfish that are biting and it's like ah, i'm not gonna i'm not gonna go <laughs> yeah, all the way over there for whatever. some quillfish but <laughs> but this one i'm like oh okay maybe maybe i underestimated this this pokemon that's you know rocketing towards me like a meteor <laughs> <laughs> seems to have some some hidden power that it's tapping into yeah definitely but yeah no Quillfish with with the Dragon Ball Z vibes for sure. Love to see it. I'm glad I'm glad Quillfish is getting its uh its day in the sun here for sure. Even the background, like the kind of the cliffs and stuff, like it's very reminiscent of the setting Dragon where Goku and Vegeta fought. Like yeah, <laughs> yeah. This is and this is guy is like been seared red. <laughs> it's all cloudy and dark. Like, yeah. There's some some clashes of the titans going on here. Yeah, no, it's, this is high key Ko Ken Quillfish, and I and I love to see it. Um, okay, now now our actual last one, I believe, is yeah, Cobalion by Kazuma Koto. Is that on a real picture? <laughs> That's what I thought when I saw it. It looks so real. And the it, rock like, in the foreground looks like a photo. Like a photo, or maybe like maybe it's been like filtered to look a little more grainy. But like I'm not I'm not sure because it looks similarly like painted. If it is painted to you know Cobalion's colors and stuff, but. Like, 
Yeah, I don't. I mean, they do. They do some mixed media cards here and there, which is like uh, yeah, um, little like clay ones or uh, mm, stitched right. little knit ones. I can't remember what, what the term is, but and those those you can definitely tell. But this is like, I think it's just really well well painted. Like, and it's like. Oh, it's just such a di- it's like such a sparse environment, you mm-hmm. know, because Pokemon is is usually a game that is all about like there's Pokemon everywhere and there's a ton of stuff going on, flowers and berries and Pokemon everywhere and it's like here's this Cobalion that's just so like stoic and also yeah. in just an empty waste. Like it's, and I think I believe it's a it's a legendary Pokemon like one of like the mm. dog or bird adjacent uh stand-ins it's just on this mountain totally secluded yeah and also it's just like metal as hell it has headbang and metal slash like oh my god that's... also the entry says it has a body and a heart of steel it worked with its allies to punish people when they hurt pokemon <laughs> it's like gosh and then what did it do after that form a form a metal band because it yeah, seems like it just... could <laughs> This grim protector. It does kind of look like the cover to like a metal album. Absolutely, you know? like, this it's, is like a... it's the Iron Will Pokemon. Like, yeah. Wow, I do not like. I've never really thought about Cobalion much, but now I'm like, whoa. What kind of music do you listen to, Cobalion? <laughs> <laughs> metal, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Six. It's Just almost seven feet tall. It's a, it's a huge Pokemon. Oh my God, yeah. It's a big it's dog. Five hundred pounds. <laughs> Yeah, this thing is not to be messed with. No. Yeah, if it's running around like mountains up that high, it's probably got some got some powerful powerful movements. Um but yeah, no, love 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 this art, the pose, the the and I appreciate that Pokemon cards are, are a medium where you can much more uh better uh use the rule of thirds than like Pokemon Snap. <laughs> yeah, you get to be a more a more uh, refined Professor Oak in this case. <laughs> yeah, it's it's great. Just oh, Cobalion, love it. Like I almost skipped this when I when I first saw it, and then I got a closer image. I'm like, oh wow, that's actually insanely what, what detailed. A detail there, yeah, it's yeah. wild. Cosmicoto, got to check out some of the other work. But yeah, um, yeah, that that's all of them. Those are my faves. Um, throw in some some honorable mentions here at the end um <laughs> i think are cute score bunny's got a big old <laughs> yeah ball. making a snowman also, that kakuna what is going on the, the pull-ups Holy have paid cow. off yeah it's, it looks shredded it's swole um swole indeed got a good grap lock ripping apart a tree um thwacky mm-hmm. spinning its drumstick kecklehans all of different colors like a, love all of it um, yeah, some good ones. Some good ones. I like that Inke has a bunch of groceries for some reason. Yeah, probably because uh, at Sword and Shield, you know, you, like you make the the stew or the oh yeah, what's it's it getting called? ready to make some curry. Curry, yeah, yeah, yeah. So also just Lyron doing doing that little sip sip of water. Porygon and Scoofy Lab. Mareep because Mareep. Mm-hmm. Drizzile doing some uh, some Tai Chi or something. <laughs> And Steeny, um, also by uh, Komiya, uh, who did the Porygon Z. Porygon so this Z, is a little, a little say, more yeah. like their normal style here, which a little more experimental. Yeah. Uh, the other, the other illustrations. The Kakuna also looks like it belongs in Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, no, it looks like it's it's achieved its you know next form or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's very very good. Um, do you wanna? Oh yeah, Tre- Trevor's here in the chat. Uh, mentioned. Shame they didn't give Quillfish an ability where it, where it pops up in game and changes stats. So that that could be like a cool mm, ability, yeah. like where, like Mold Breaker or something, where like right like sharp yeah. damage. Um, right, they gave it an ability, so you could have you could have tweaked that a little more. But instead, it's like it's some kind of probably poison Kamikaze pin fish. or something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Kamikaze fish, oh, poor Quillfish. Um, you mentioned, Trevor mentioned the colors on Hatrim. Like I just love that whole palette. Um, yeah, it's very great. Pastel. Love the purples and 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 the, the trans flag colors, of course, which we we know yeah, that true. that Hatrum's whole evolution chain is, is surely um, staunch supporters of, as is every Pokemon, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, and I then, was about to say except for, and then I didn't want to pick one Pokemon to be transphobic. <laughs> That's a, I don't want to step in that. Nope. 
Uh, and then Trevor, you also mentioned uh, Diglett's determined expression, the the intensity on the Diglett's face, just classic. Yeah. love it. Yeah, where are these Diglett going in such a hurry? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, love to know. Oh, and they're the only ones in a hurry. What those those what's the back don't seem to be bothered by whatever's happening. But I feel like there's some kind of race going on, mm. and the ones in the back have kind of given up, either because they collided with a rock or they're just like talking amongst each other, like ah, we're not. <laughs> Yeah, you see one like the the one on the left there's mid collision and the other one just yeah, like, right. knocked it out. Just ran into a rock. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta look where you're going. You gotta yeah. keep your head above the water when you're swimming. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, lots lots of great Pokemon. Stare looking, Flaffy, good stuff. Um, but yeah, that's uh that's gonna wrap it up. Uh, thanks so much for for watching. Um. I love Pokemon cards. I'd love to do more stuff like this every now and then for, for other sets or maybe maybe go back. Or... Do you think you'll get uh, some um, like some packs or boxes or anything? I'm hoping to get at least some packs eventually. I did buy most of these cards and a handful of others. So I bought like 30 cards for like six bucks online. So <laughs> oh it's like, my God. That'll, that'll, All right. that'll take care of me for now for fine. But... You're not kidding when you say budget picks. Yeah, no, these these are these are cheap if you want them, except for maybe. This is what Gengar. I'm saying though. How much are the booster packs? Four bucks usually. Oh, okay, that's not that bad. M- what do you M- get, like, MSRP four. four. Uh, you get ten cards, I believe. And... Oh, ten cards. Why did I say four? It's never been. That would be a so. It is. It's, it's always you're paying less than a buck for a card. Um, yeah. But still. Yeah. But but sometimes you get you know the really cool cards that are like really cool. There's and there are some really good like alternate art ones in this in this set, but they're like. Mm-hmm a hundred dollars or 70 bucks if you want to of buy course. them as singles so that's why the packs are so hot right now of course um people trying to make their money yeah but i just want to see my cute friends and i can do that on the cheap so here i am um true but yeah uh that'll, that'll do it for us for today thanks so much for watching tune in to uh yeah. the podcast uh every, every monday when we post it and i'll get this up on youtube as well at some point and Hopefully we can do more stuff like this every now and then because it's yeah. fun. Some bonus content. Yeah, just for you. Um, but yeah, uh, my name is Brayden. My name is Will. Go beyond the ball. Yeah, no music on this one. Sorry. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Copyright strike. Boom.